Okay, let's go to the bank. Let's enter some rights of rulership, I guess. Even though I don't know how to fucking fight. Hold on, maybe we should figure out how to fight. Oh, what did I press? Hold on, let's, let's look at my keyboard controls. Attack one. F, G, F, G, D. F, G, D. Okay. Sneak. this being pretty good graphically <laughs> which is kind of laughable now but it's not bad though hi how is it going make some more money to save uh yeah oh current drachma oh i do need to make more money hold on and my current drachma is okay, 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 okay. I need to get some money. Where am I gonna get some money? All right, all right. I do need to get money. What is this? Oh, oh, okay. My brother has sent me a keyboard movement. Thing. Maybe we should go. Let's go to the fucking arena. That's how you get money, right? Wait. These were all just things. Rights of rulership. Fisherman flee. These are just no news things, not like. Was there a adventurer's guild of some sort? I'm I'm pleased that I remember nothing. <laughs> uh no wait, that's not where I wanted to go. Should be. Okay. Is it one of these places? Sign logbook. Yes, get points. There was, this guy was sleeping here before. You awake, bro? Are you a day sleeper? Oh, he's still sleeping. Oh, this is closed! What time is it open? Metal Grade cannot be moved. There's a sign on the arena entrance saying that there will be combat competition tonight at 8. The doors will open at 6 this evening. Right now the arena is closed. Well, fucking, fuck a duck. What if we just go randomly out into the wilderness and, and see if we can kill things? <laughs> yes. Oh, no, wait. I know where the Adventurer's Guild is. It was closed by the time we got there. I think it's by the... It's across this bridge. Is, uh... Uhura here. <laughs> hey, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Oh man, it's a Minotaur guy. Good see hero man. Good hero man here. Toro like hero man. <laughs> How are you? Good see hero man. Like Silmaria. Feel like home. Like guild. Important job. Miss Elsa. Want Elsa be here more. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. You don't even know me. Good place talk adventure. Good place make body strong. Good place learn things. Good place. Good place. Toro come here. 
Guild Guy asked Toro if adventurer. Toro say yes. Guild Guy say Toro, Guild Master. Guild Guy go, Toro stay. Toro, Guild Master. Come here with Elsa. No like man Elsa with. Stay here in Silmaria. Is he the Minotaur from the first one? He was not much of a ch talker. Elsa good. Elsa hero. Make brigands leave Spielberg. Oh. Fight brother all time. Brother dumb, but brother boss. Oh, Elsa was Bumble, in that one, yeah. Bad boss. Elsa leave Spielberg. Elsa come here be boss. Elsa good boss. Was she the one that was like captured or some shit? That we found? Man got money. Man got big house. Man got big boat. Man got Elsa. No like man. No like man. Hope see hero man later. You good man. Thanks, Toro. You're okay. Here, let's let's sit in this chair. Under a spell or something. Haha. <laughs> this looks like a treadmill. What's in here? I gotta sign this logbook. What's the deal? Middle grate prevents access to the stairs. There is a simple lock on the grate. The stairs lead to a landing, then continues upward. You can make out several voices snoring upstairs. The small sign on the door says Old Fisherman's Hall. Everybody's asleep, man. Examine the logbook. You realize that it's relatively new. You figure it was started when Toro took over the Adventure Guild of Silmaria. Latest entry says, I, Elsa von Spielberg, have come to Silmaria to win the rights of rulership and become ruler of this kingdom. Oh, snap. Sign. Good, we got points. You take the pen lying on the table, dip it in the octopus ink, and sign your name and quest into the book. All right, let's get some fucking shit. Hey, man, need some energy? So do we. Bring the feathers of the Pegasus to the apothecary and we'll fix you up. Keep on trucking. Okay. Pegasus feathers. Be king of Somaria. Good job for best man or woman. Go to Hall of Kings. This is a very uh, inclusive. <laughs> Lost. Small wicker basket. Last seen. Beach southwest of Solmaria. Return to Sara, the bead merchant. Okay. Regicide! Wanted for the crime of regicide. Assassin of the king of Solmaria. Reward 2,000 drachmas for information leading to arrest. That's that's the big money there. Is this a billy bass? <laughs> Press 1 for regicide. <laughs> Is, a is that a Simpsons reference? Yep, okay. <laughs> I was like, the word regicide is funny to me for some reason, and that's why. <laughs> Bad Homer. I told mom uh, that a joke about uh, Tab where he's, he presses tab thinking it's gonna give him a tab because she said something about drinking tab. <laughs> okay, before we go out into the wilderness, let's see, Southwest, on the beaches of Southwest, hold up. Have we, have we seen everything in this town? I think there's more past the docks or something. You have selected regicide. If you know the name of the king or queen being murdered, press one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there's a guy here. Let's talk to you. The fingers you have used to dial that. are too fast. That means good day here in Sumaria. Welcome to our city. I hope you find happiness on this island. I am Andre, a fisherman. I am also happy to ferry people to the nearby islands on my boat. Yasas, it is nice to see a new face around here. Yasas. I am out on this dock on most mornings. I fish for most of the day and evening and come back in the night. I know the waters around Silmaria in my sleep. If you ever wish to go for a boat ride, I'll be happy to take you around the bay or to the nearby islands. That's Any useful. further out than that, and boats are attacked by sea creatures. Most fishermen on Marit live in the villages outside town. That is, they used to live there. 
They have been driven from their homes by attacks from armed mercenaries. They have been driven from the sea by attacks from tritons and sea monsters, and most have left this island. I am the sole remaining Silmarian fisherman. You're my boat tritons guy. Tritons are half men, half fish people who live under the water. They used to be friendly and helpful to fishermen. Lately, though, they have attacked every ship that sails past the nearby islands. No one knows why they have become hostile. The mercenaries are armed soldiers who have been sailing into the fishing villages and driving all the fisherfolk away. They could invade the city any day. Silmaria is the only city on the island of Marit. Marit is a large island, as you can see if you look on the map. In good years, Do you I can have sail around the entire island. This is not a good year, and the seas are too dangerous to travel that far. I think I should buy a map from Wolfie. It was good speaking with you. Yasas! Yasas, indeed. That goes back up. Okay, yes. We haven't gone this way. You here to enter the right of rulership? Most of the newcomers are here for it right now. Fools, it's going to take a real warrior to become king of Samaria. Is that you, dog? Yeah. Welcome to sunny Samaria. What do you want? I'm Folus, weaponsmith and weapon seller. You need a good weapon, you go see me. You got a spare weapon you want to get rid of? I may decide to buy it. If it's about weapons, I'm the person you want to deal with. You want to see my weapons? Show me you've got the cash, and I'll show you my stuff. There's a strong Gross. warrior in town <laughs> who calls himself Magnum Opus. He knows how to use real weapons. There's also a big, ugly guy that hangs around with the scientists. I don't see that he's got any weapons, but I hate to mess with the size of those fists. Then there's a woman. Dial it down a notch, I dude, yeah. I can't believe a woman thinks she can become king here. Kings are men, not dames. She'll learn dames. the lesson soon enough. If you play in the big leagues, you've got to be tough. Can I can I help her become king out of spite? <laughs> the rights of rulership are not for wimps. They prove or do I have to win? Is the finest man suited to become the king. You've got to be tough to be the king of Samaria. Brains and brawn, the best combination for the true warrior. <laughs> I don't think I would tell him about myself. You're a hero. Let's see. <laughs> Wouldn't know it to look at you. You'll have a chance to prove it around here. Just enter the rights of rulership, and we'll see who's a hero. You know where to look if you're looking for weapons. Yes, I do. You made that very clear. Are you a rando? I bet you're a rando. Yasas, milate linica. Yasas, milate linica. Can I pick up these? Aha! Rocks! One always needs rocks. Let's pick up all these rocks. Hell yeah! Got some dope ass rocks. <laughs> Ooh! Hello, who are you? Are you from that third one? Second one? You are encumbered and cannot move. I hope not. What? Oh, what are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? Name? What's a name, boy? I've been called a lot of things in my time. Like an asshole. You can call me famous adventurer. That's mostly what I'm known as now. New in town, huh? I was going to write a travel book about Silmaria sometime. Maybe I did. Just can't remember. Anyway. Go see for yourself. Only way to learn. You're weird. This is the famous Adventurous Correspondence School. You think this was the library of Selmaria? I don't know. So you're a graduate of this school. I didn't think anyone ever read the crap I write. <laughs> is I don't remember there being was there a book in like the second one or something? Got some advice what for was you, that? kid. Bookstore. Don't grow old. It ain't worth it. Your whole life is a lie. <laughs> Ask for man's... Oh, borrow a swim manual. Sure. Alright. Fucking read that shit, dog. Hell yeah! I now have the basic idea of how to swim. Hell yes. A 
I'm building a balloon? Okay. Uh, it was in the first game box. Okay. Writer further speaks, I managed to procure the sticky sap of a tree that had been burned for a long time. This made an excellent formula for windproofing the balloon material. This seems like something I won't have to do. The text goes on, I attached this balloon to a large basket by means of a rope. A metal brazier, is that a brazier? Uh, filled it with coals, provided the hot air to fill the balloon bag, causing the balloon to rise into the air. Near the end of the book you read, unfortunately the nature of the balloon is to float wherever the wind will blow it. The next time a, I decide to travel in this manner, I will attach wings to the basket and thus control my passage. The end. No, 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 I don't want to read it again, dog. But let's click on all the other piles. <laughs> this seemed fruitful. What's up, fish? Fishy fish? No, where are you going, dog? Oh, no. Time to leave. Because of puns. Field for Kana, a scenic ship here on less than five dinars a day. There's also a copy of Elephants in Mordavia, an endangered species. Very good. You also see every back issue of Hero, the Journal of General Job Adjusting, including the hard-to-find issue number one. Oh, yellowed piece of paper. Uh, unfinished love letter to someone named Boopsy. How sad it was never mailed. The letter is obviously private, so you return it to the shelf. Uh, oh. Items on the board, you see an announcement for last year's E4 Expert Existential Explorers Expedition. The convention had Professor Grant Gutfield's famous lecture on future field trips of, to Furkana and South Furkana safaris with Hank Mallon. This is Furkana. And how do I get out of this? Oh, okay. Fantastique. Am I going southwest? Awesome. Let's look for a fucking basket. Can I climb trees? It's too far away. Well, look at it, dog. Pull all the levers, I guess. You pull the lever to re engage the gears of the windmill. What's this one? The lever looks like it affects the machinery leading from the control box below and out to the overhanging pole. You assess that it probably switches something in some way. Pull it. Lever doesn't want to move. Push it. Use force on. Uh oh. Um, that seems bad. <laughs> can I can I use my sword here? Nothing happens. Oh, activate cable car. Release gears on windmill. Release brake. Uh oh. Is that what that was? Is that the break? What's this? Whoopsie. I'm gonna assume there's not, uh... That was on purpose and you have to find a stick or something. I don't actually remember. Where's this fucking basket? Got to see. No, bitch. Yeah, it's expected. Okay. Just look. The strange tower and devices on this artificial island are definitely odd by anyone's standards. This must be the fabled science island. Okay. 
A gondola lies semi-submerged in the water. It looks like it has wings. You don't suppose anyone or someone was trying to build a flying machine, do you? Everyone knows machines can't fly. The shoreline forms a path along the steep sea cliffs on one side and the rising cliff wall on the other. Well, well. It's mist. All right. Can I go in here? Give me a horse. The barn doors are barred. They seem to be the centaur weaponsmith's home. Oh, he's a centaur? I can't tell. I can only see waist up. <laughs> First glance, this building looks like a fortress. Its windows heavily barred. Then you observe the quality and opulence of the construction befits a, pa a small palace. You suspect someone with a lot of money built this atypical inn. Doors plain, but very solid. Special guest key. Breath and murmur. Yeah, we'll knock. What's up? Let me in. No one answers. Oh yeah, we, we had to see what he has. What can I sell you? I don't think I have anything, though. Or... Got a helm. That's pretty cool. Ooh, magic sword. I need to- Oh! Oh, 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 oh! I need a spear! Yeah, bitch. Ooh, I can counter offer? What this dog? Nice dealing with you. Nice dealing with you. Oh man, I should have got a cheaper one. I should have got a throwing spear. Silly bitch. Probably wouldn't work. Okay. I like that I could just double click and run. Shishisha! Come here, gondola. It's a good thing I picked up them rocks, dog. <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> wow. No, don't throw them. I might need them. Stop it. <laughs> Get out. Pick up that rock. Where's the door? Uh. I don't know. I see. This looks like an enormous gear. We'll turn it. Now what's this shiny thing? Are you a computer? Are you a terminal? Oh, welcome to the Academy of Science. You too can have a career as a successful research assistant for a brilliant scientist. Please take the simple science quiz to enter. Do serious research. Is this fucking Dr. Cranium? Take test. What is the purpose of science? Uh, sure, I would like to say the uh, hitchhiker's reason. Yaha! A true scientist would be willing to hitchhike to the end of the galaxy for answers. Sh -sh -sh -sh. Is that it? Oh, okay. What is the goal of the true scientist? 
Um, to impress babes with your towering intellect. Uh, all the above. <laughs> a scientist has a diverse portfolio of desires and goals. What does every scientist need to be able to spell Beetlejuice to be able to tell the difference between a hawk and a handsaw? A diploma from the Academy of Science. Uh, yeah, the, probably this. <laughs> what is a quark? A bartender on a space station, a measure of weight, a particle of an atom, all the above. Let's see all the above. Ha ha! True scientist looks for all the answers. I didn't know. Why is science essential? essential? Without science, the world would be destroyed by ignorance and superstition. It keeps the scientists employed. <laughs> Were it not for science, gravity wouldn't exist and everyone would fly around everywhere. <laughs> uh, here, sure. The shining beacon of science shall shatter the darkness of superstition. The movement of the giant gear now reveals an open door into the science academy. Aha! You're now able to be a scientist. Lucky guy. Yeah. Hell yeah! Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this, because I'm afraid. I mean, there's no reason to be afraid, I don't think, but you don't know. Scientist guy. Oh boy, cheese. <laughs> Artichoke and anchovy pizza. <laughs> He's still obsessed with pizza. Anna is disappointed that you don't know who Quark is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a, a Star Trek thing. Is this where you make pizza? Who are you? Are you Dr. Cranium? Greetings. You Pretorius. must be looking for a successful career as a lab assistant for extremely important scientists. You come at a good time. All you need to do is pass the final test on the screen over there. Then you can start your training. I am Dr. Pretorius. I shall be your mentor and advisor. Gort, over there, Gort. is my senior lab assistant. We'll make a true scientist out of you. You mean you are not here to become a famous scientist? Um, I'm afraid I'm very busy right now and have no time for salesmen, reporters, adventurers, or other riffraff. I am head scientist and instructor at the Academy of Sciences here in Salmaria. Most of the scientists are on sabbatical right now. There was a little disagreement about one of the experiments. However, we are fully operational as an educational facility. Did you join the rights? No, I didn't have enough money. You are wise to ask that. Pizza is the essence of scientific <laughs> principles. A well-designed pizza is like a well-designed experiment, balanced and planned in every aspect. The crust must be crisp and to the point, like the hypothesis one seeks to prove by experimentation. The sauce must be the careful combination of the various substances distilled to their essence, like the exploration of a hypothesis of the experimentation. The cheese must be binding, like the culmination of the exploration of a hypothesis of the experimentation. The anchovies and artichokes, which are necessary for the truly well-designed pizza, are there because they happen to be my favorite pizza toppings. You're weird. Science is yeah, the gross. application of mathematics and reasoning towards solving the problems of the universe. For example, one could say that the flare of the hypothesis is equal to the sum of the glares on the opposite sides. Unless, of course, you consider that to be triangular reasoning. Other than a slight speech impediment, Gort is the perfect example of the self-made man. He is the very model of the Aristotelian ideal. Just look at that splendid cranium capacity. You will not find a finer specimen anywhere. I didn't buy the magic magnets yet, but I will. Science Island was they're very useful, by I remember. careful scientific processes. It has all the necessary elements for research. 
a microscope for the minuscule, and a telescope to explore the cosmos. There is a platform designed to land flying machines, and a crane to retrieve subsea surface vehicles. There is also a slide for launching upper orbital artificial satellites. Unfortunately, most of those things haven't been invented yet. When you come to the revelation that science is the ultimate adventure of a lifetime, you may return here to begin your academic career. No way, I'm gonna make my life stabbing stuff. Please do not touch the equipment. It is delicate and should not be touched by Where's anyone Gort? other than a true scientist. Oh, Gort is up here. That's pretty cool. What's up, Gort? Please do not touch the equipment. It is delicate and should not be touched by anyone other than a true scientist. What's that here? Oh. Uh, can I pick up that thing? What if I just run it as it is? Grand extension. Do, 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 do. Nope. Much extend. Better, closer, warmer. Does it close? Oh, you're so close. Ah, it moves. I think that made it go farther. Yeah. Other way. Other direction. It's getting evening already. The day goes so fast. Ooh, so close. Needs to be. Hold on. That seems close enough. Now we gotta go close. I don't know why I need this. Despair. Is it not far enough? So close. Oh, come on now, you bitch. Is it the other direction? Son of a bitch. Is it uh, there? Um, nah. 
Hello! Is that perception? No, it's behind there. Come on now! I guess it's farther back. Seems correct. Possibly. Come on, baby. Mama needs a new gun gondola. Gondola. <laughs> push, push, push. Automatically places the winged gondola upon the platform. The winged gondola is lightweight, although it's too bulky to be carried around. The wings are too small to be of any use, except maybe for steering. All in all, there's not much you can do with it right now. That's fine. I got it. It's mine. Don't go fucking it up, Dr. Cranium. Oh my god! Can I not go in there? Is it too late or something? Let me in. Can I? Is it too late? Is this a thing that's possible? Can I get down from here? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> that would be awful. If you get locked outside. I'm gonna save it. No, bitch! No, bitch! No! No, bitch! <laughs> I don't like when it changes. Is this a ladder? No. So you want to be a scientist, do I? It takes real brains to wrestle quadratic equations. If you believe you have what it takes to be a successful scientist, take this simple test. You too can be formulating theorems of the universe in no time. Sure. Anatomy. Name a part of the skeletal structure. Uh... Fucking puns, man. These are all bones. Dog. All the above, yeah. What is a niece? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> what is a polygon? Uh, an expedit. <laughs> Name a star, Mel Gibson. Uh, is Beetlejuice a star? No. What is the solution? The result when a substance is homogeneously mixed with a liquid. Uh, the answer to the previous question. Uh, when there can be but one. What? <laughs> Incorrect. I have you now. Oh no. Name the three elements. All the above. What's a square root? Uh, what is an insect? Arthropods. Earthquake. Uh, orbit. Hey! You're probably competent enough to become a lab assistant. What's my password? Fun math. Do I have to write that down? Remember, fun math. Oh no, this is a... Fun math. Oh yeah, Beetlejuice is a star. I thought they were being clever or some dumb shit. Good call, good call. Hey, can I, I'm your lab assistant. What does that entail? Can I have some money? <laughs> also, what is this? Don't touch that. You could set off a chain reaction of cataclysmic proportions. Also, what's this? People might think you're mad. 
I have no time for stupid social noises. Save them for those with nothing better to do. I know the password, bro. You reveal the depth of your ignorance by asking such a question. Every two-bit researcher knows Wait, the importance of this is a different fucking guy. You mean research? Pizza is the ultimate fuel. Someday we will invent cars, airplanes, even spaceships. Undoubtedly, they will need pizza to get anywhere. Of course, the pizza needs sufficient fire to achieve its full potency. Pepperoni and jalapeno toppings, those are the secret to a truly world-dominating pizza. Everything else is incidental. Those are incendiary. I am Dr. Mobius, the greatest scientist on Science Island. Talk to the other guy. Unfortunately, that understates my true genius, since I am surrounded by dolts. Fortunately, most of them have left me in peace at last. Tell me about science. Science is the ultimate power. It bends everything else to its needs. What are oh, sorry. science? Watch a glass blower make hard glass melt by applying a little heat. That is science at work. Science at work. Ah, Gort. Now there is a truly worthwhile specimen. Have you noticed his magnificent upper body development, the finely tuned coordination in his extremities, and he manages to keep his mouth shut, unlike some? We created this island to keep out the prying eyes of jealous neighbors. Here we can pursue our research and experiments without fear of offending some petty peasant. You can find the results of past experiments everywhere around here. Just remember, there is no such thing as a failure in science. Only evidence against one hypothesis in favor of another. Had enough of science for now? I shouldn't wonder. You may safely assume that science has had enough of you as well. You're a bitch. I like you least of all. Oh, hey. This seems like a not a good place to go. <laughs> Can I go talk to Gort now? I work here, bro. Maybe, kind of. Don't touch that. You could set off a chain reaction of Such cataclysmic proportions. Everything's so dire with you. Bring back the other guy. I guess he's the morning shift. I'll be back later. I don't know what all this was for. Hold on. Is there anything else over here? No. Just you. You and your stupid asshole. Alright, let's go back to town, I guess. Oh! We should go to the arena! It opens at 8! It opens at 6! But shit happens at 8! Does this stop automatically? Or do I gotta throw a rock again? Okay, good. Here, I'm gonna save. To the arena. Ah, I can't type. I'm gonna run this entire way and I'm gonna be all tired by the time I get there. And we'll be bad at war. <laughs> FGD, right? I'm gonna be late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Oh, hey, who are you? <laughs> what up? Abdim guard. Abdim not talk. Abdim not talk. Abdim guard Ferrari's house. No one get into Ferrari's house now. Who's Ferrari? No thief ever get in house. How safe. Nice. Hat, face. Pretty spiffy, hey? Yeah, I dig your hat. Bye bye. Bye bye. Or 
Or just use your mouse, you can just click. Hey. Five drachmas to watch fight. Five drachmas to watch fight. Five drachmas only. Five drachmas to watch fight. Oh, I guess I'm too late. Maybe. Yasas, this evening I shall fight the stranger called Hero of Spielberg. Oh. I have not met this one. Isn't so that me? Judge the or is that that bitch? I will, however, win. Good day to you. You must be here to compete in the rights of rulership. I, too, will compete to become king of my beloved homeland. I have been a guard of Silmaria since I was 16. This is my home, and I intend to become the next king. No outsider could rule her with more love than I. I am very good with spear and shield. Efaristo, stranger. Efaristo. It shall be a good contest. I shall look forward to meeting you again. I, w I watched the fight. Seems pretty <laughs> straightforward. Five drachmas to watch the fight, yeah. Okay. Let's fucking, let's watch. How do I give him money? You can't use it that way. Hold on, I don't know how to use it. How do you use money? Use money. Uh, it's not in my shit. Can I just walk in here? What if I give you... Five drachmas... Five drachmas to watch fight. Put this in my shit! Yeah, tell me, because it's just as bad UI. Oh, okay, hold on. I got it. I'd say that's just bad my UI. Greetings to all of you. Welcome oh, this is Ferrari, okay. And tonight's spectacle of deadly combat. I, Ferrari, am your host for these events. As you know, the combatants may choose the style of combat they prefer. They will fight in deadly earnest to bring their opponent to his knees. When a foe has fallen, the combat is over. The winner shall receive the purse of gold drachmas. And the defeat. I never said the game is bad, I said the UI is bad. <laughs> it was a poor choice. The champion of this contest is someone most of you know. He has served the city of Silmaria for many years as a guard. And a game can have bad UI and still not be a bad game. To be valiant and brave. Ladies and gentlemen, I call to battle Kokino Pukamiso. I, Kokino Pukamiso, shall defend the honor of the guards of Silmaria. Our champion is now challenged by a skilled and experienced combatant. I summon to battle Elsa von Spielberg. I, Elsa von Spielberg, shall Spielberg. prove my skills upon the field of combat. Oh. May the contest begin. Gog. Oh snap! Your... Your magic sword is lots of dust. She whooped his ass! Good job, Elsa von Spielberg! Kokino is a bitch. Is Elsa von Spielberg. No! Now you cheer, you jerks. You booed that bitch. Oh, there's some booze. <laughs> All right. We gotta get on on this tomorrow. We can't just be spending money. Hand over fist. Blah. Um. 
What if we, we go fight something? What if we go fight, try to fight something random? Can't just walk around not knowing how to fight stuff. Put that shit. Where's my other shit? Yeah, yeah. E boss, dog. Also, gambling is big in this game, okay? Here, this is where we went before and I got scared away, but there was just one little guy there. I just was scared. Okay, okay. Where's my hill? Whack! Oh, this, he's bet. okay. <laughs> I didn't use the other button. Oh, there's another one. Whack! Back in your face. Whack. Whack. Ha. Whack. Yeah, bitch. Oh, what the fuck's this? Save. I think there's... There are more. What is this guy? The words at the bottom of this pillar read, This is the second of the pillars that bind the dragon of doom. As long as this stands, the dragon shall not again fly. Hmm. Oh, beeswax. Cool. Items. Press C. Uh, does this mean I'm poisoned or something? <laughs> or just that I'm very down on the health? All right, back to town. <laughs> That was, that was enough adventuring. <laughs> I think we should go... Red means I lost points? I mean... Oh, you lose agility while you wear it, okay. I don't need this on at all times, is what you're saying. And you haven't slept in a while. That's what I'm doing, man! Go to sleep. Sleep until morning. Does it heal me all completely? What's the word, lovebird? Shall we wing it before we take a turn for the worst? This chick's crowing bold. So when do we flock together? I'd love to cock-a-doodle do it with you. Man, everybody's so bored. <laughs> Time for more anchovy pancakes or whatever they have. Yeah. Point gaining in this game is easiest of the five. Okay. Order a meal. Yeah, tell me what kind of crazy shit. I understood what you meant. We're having goulash. You don't want to know. You really don't want to know. All right, then. You've, you've tasted worse. Okay. Uh, we are continuing. Speaking of Spielberg, Elsa von Spielberg, I'm continuing a Spielberg marathon this evening, which is going to start soon. 
So I'm going to call it for the night. We're going to name this goulash. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We probably should buy a map. We probably should get the magic magnets. And we probably should enter the fight, the arena fight, to get some money. That's what I'm thinking. So, uh, anywho, I will see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for...